1. Introduction. The soul is neither white, nor black, nor red. The soul is neither subtle nor gross. It is the form of knowledge. Yogi knows it only through knowledge. You know it as knowledgeable. The soul is not a Brahman, not a Vaishya, not a Kshatriya, not even a small person. There is no male, important or feminine gender. A knowledgeable person knows all these especially. The soul is not a Buddha, not a Digambra, the soul is not even a Shvetambara, the soul does not wear any form, it is only a form of knowledge, the yogi knows it only through meditation. The soul is not a teacher, not a disciple, not a master, not a servant, not a brave man, not a coward, not a high-ranking coolie and not a lowly coolie. The soul is not a human being. It is not even a god, the soul is not even an animal, the soul is not even a hellish soul, but it is the form of knowledge. The soul is neither learned nor stupid, neither rich nor poor, neither young, old nor a child. 2. Difference of soul i.e. living being from other things i.e. non-living things. The living being is ours and the substances on the body etc. are not ours. They are on it does not depend on the soul. Other substances never become the soul. Old age, death, disease etc. happen only to the body, the soul is immortal. Therefore, do not be afraid of old age and death of the body. By understanding this we are not afraid of suffering. We know the relation of happiness and sorrow with the body. That is why we do not feel very sad when there is a loss in business. When there is an illness in the body, when there is separation from someone. By knowing all the actions related to the body, one remains calm. We understand that I am a pure soul. 3. Types of soul and identification of outer soul. There are three types of soul. 1. Bahirtma 2. Conscience 3. God.